So today we'll be talking about reagents that you can use in your retrosynthesis. So it will be very important that you see this video before we go to the uh, retrosynthesis. So uh, when we talk about the reagents that can be used, the reagents uh, can be many. However, I'll give you some of the most important that you should know for the purpose of uh, the chemistry course. So the first reagent that is important is a reagent called potassium permanganate. Right? So let me write the word. So that's potassium permanganate. The second uh, reagent that's very important is one we abbreviate as PCC. So now what does PCC stand for? It stands for pyridinium. So pyridinium chlorochromate. Pyridinium chlorochromate. Um, the next uh, reagent of importance is one called lithium aluminum hydride. lithium aluminum hydride so lithium aluminum i don't know if it's aluminum or aluminum <laughs> aluminum uh, aluminum hydride however you want to pronounce it huh? aluminum hydride the next reagent is one called very important it's called sodium borohydride sodium borohydride oh sodium Borohydride. Sodium borohydride. Um, what else can I talk about? Let me also mention. Um, oh, there's also one. One called. Um, it's usually abbreviated as the bow. Sometimes it has an H. So, what this means? Di isobutyl diisobutyl um, aluminum aluminum hydride yeah diisobutyl aluminum hydride what else which other reagent is important um, yeah so th the next reagents are the ones you already know so we can have Grignard reagents which generally have um, this functional group and some halide. The next uh, type of reagents are the ones we're calling Gilman reagents. Gilman reagents. How will these ones look like? They have um, some group, let me just say ARA2. Say ARA2. And then they have copper and lithium. Huh? And then we can have organo lithium reagents. Reagents. Please know all these reagents because they'll help you with all your synthesis problems. There have been times when I've been stuck and then the only way you can work out your synthesis processes by using either one of these reagents. So I'll tell you what these reagents do. First thing, you need to know that the first two that I've given you here are used for oxidation, right? And then you need to know that um, these ones here, the next three are used for reduction. So memorize them like that. Memorize the two used for oxidation. These are the most common. And then the three which are used for reduction. So now, what do I mean when I say oxidation? What exactly do they oxidize? So suppose you start off with... Uh, suppose you start off with a primary uh, alcohol like that. If you wanted to get um, a carboxylic acid like this. If you wanted to get a carboxylic acid... The reagent you are going to use is called potassium 
a magnet like this please rem uh, remember this so if you want to move from so this is a two-step processor so you'll be moving from an alcohol to an aldehyde then from an aldehyde to a carboxylic acid you use this but suppose you wanted to end at the aldehyde level so you start with a primary alcohol like that and then suppose you wanted to end at the aldehyde level what do you do if you wanted to end at this level at the aldehyde level the reagent you use is the reagent called PCC I'm sure you've seen PCC a lot when it comes to your synthesis reagents now which other use does PCC have so PCC which is uh, pyridinium chlorochromate can also be used so this is a when, when you're reacting a primary alcohol you can change the primary alcohol into an aldehyde but what if you react a secondary alcohol let's say um, this secondary alcohol this secondary alcohol what will happen so if you use PCC PCC will change this alcohol into a ketone so it will look something like this right we'll see this one when, when I start working out the synthesis problems for you you'll be able to see we'll use PCC in this form so PCC can change a secondary alcohol into a ketone this is very very important a very very important uh, reaction how does it do that it extracts a hydrogen okay I, I, I'll explain uh, the mechanism of how that is done but for now just know it like that just say when PCC acts on a primary alcohol, it can change it to an aldehyde. When it acts on a secondary alcohol, it can change it into a ketone, right? So that's about our oxidizing reagents. Our oxidizing reagents. What about our reducing reagents? So I gave you three reducing reagents. Um, the first one is called uh, lithium aluminum hydride this one here so now what does lithium aluminum hydride do so it's the opposite lithium aluminum hydride can change a carboxylic acid all the way into a primary alcohol like that if you want to change a carboxylic acid into a primary alcohol you use lithium aluminum hydride don't forget this so it's the opposite you can you can think of it it's the opposite of potassium permanganate potassium permanganate moves from a primary alcohol to a carboxylic acid lithium aluminum hydride moves from a carboxylic acid to an alcohol so that's pretty much the opposite right the next uh, reagent we can talk about is sodium borohydride so sodium borohydride can move it's the opposite of this one so it can move from an aldehyde right can move from an aldehyde um, to a primary alcohol the opposite of PCC so if the opposite of PCC if you want to run a reverse reaction you use sodium borohydride are we together up to that point so another thing to know is that this can also work on ketones so you can also change a ketone into um, into a primary alcohol using sodium borohydride so what else would you need to know the last uh, reagent here is the bow reagent what does the bow reagent do this one is um, if you look at my solution sheet there's a solution sheet I shared you'll be able to see that I used this reagent so the bow stands for di diisobutyl aluminum hydride right diisobutyl aluminum hydride so what does it do so the bow reagent is very special because it is used to change an ester it can be changed into an aldehyde an ester can be changed into an aldehyde so before we go into our synthesis make sure you know these reagents and what they change um, or, or, or what transformations they do please 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 make sure you go through these ones and then we'll see you in the next video when we do some retrosynthesis